I'm going to share the top 10 most badass watches inspired by the video games that we all love. Get ready to set your wallet on fire. Welcome to the Watch Closet. I'm COE33, CO for short, and guys, I think it's safe to say that I'm cuckoo for watches. If you enjoy watch collecting content as much as I do, help me grow this channel and appease those algorithm overlords by subscribing and ever so gently polishing that like button. Before we get into the video, let's do a wristwatch check. I'm keeping with the theme of today's video and wearing the very cool Seiko Sega collaboration watch from Japan. It's got the black stainless steel bracelet and of course, that Sega logo at the three o'clock. So cool. When you're burning that midnight oil, grinding out an intense gaming session, you absolutely need to have a quality watch to join you on your adventures. Whether you're going old school, some pellet munching, maze navigating, ghost avoiding Pac-Man, or you're about to take on Sephiroth from Final Fantasy VII, There's a watch that's a perfect match for that occasion. So why don't we take a look at the top 10 most badass watches for the video game enthusiasts, starting with the most inexpensive and working our way up to the baller pieces that cost more than buying a PS5 from an eBay scalper. Starting with watch number 10, the Timex T80 Pac-Man Edition. This stainless steel watch takes a classic T80 retro styling and puts it through a Pac-Man blender. This one has the gold tone finish, which I do think looks pretty sweet, but it also comes with a silver tone and a black tone variant, all of which have 34 millimeter case dimensions, 30 meter water resistance, digital display, and chronograph functionality, and a cool Pac-Man bezel that transports me back to the days of dropping quarters in the Pac-Man arcade cabinet at my local arcade. This watch originally retailed for 79 bucks, but can be currently found on Amazon and eBay for approximately $85, at least as of recording this video. Links to this watch and all the watches showcased in this video can be found in the description. Moving on to watch number nine, and it's another Timex T80, but this time it's celebrating Space Invaders instead of Pac-Man. The OG arcade phenomenon shmup that paved the way for countless space shooter clones. I think the red sprites and Space Invaders logo look particularly cool with this black variant, but much like the Pac-Man edition, you can also rock this piece in silver tone and gold tone. Another retro cool piece from Timex that would make a good addition to any gamer's watch box. From Timex to Seiko, well, kind of. Watch number eight is the super cool Mario Brothers Mechanical Limited Edition from Alba, which is a sub-brand of the Seiko Watch Corporation. This particular variant has everyone's favorite plumber spit in a fireball with a nice black dial and a power-up superstar serving as the counterweight on the second hand. Alba collaborated with Super Mario Brothers and Nintendo on a large array of watches, which can be found on eBay starting for around 85 bucks for this Yoshi Quartz watch with its green colorway and Yoshi Sprite at 6 o'clock, to $148 for this gold tone stainless steel bracelet version with Famicom inspired dial and classic Mario Sprite, or $194 for the mechanical variant that I showcased earlier. If you love Mario and want a watch to wear while storming Bowser's castle and saving Princess Peach, these collaborations with Nintendo and Alba are the way to go. From the Mushroom Kingdom to a galaxy far, far away. Coming in at number seven is the very cool Citizen line of Star Wars watches. I can't think of a better wristwatch to wear while playing a little Rogue Squadron than these Eco Drive chronographs. They come in a variety of designs, including a Luke Skywalker variant with a brown bezel and a cream dial, a very cool all black Darth Vader version with a matte dial depicting the iconic Imperial window, and even a Rebel Pilot version with an X Wing fighter at the six o'clock. All three watches are fairly hulking at 44 millimeters, so they may be best for larger wristed gamers. Citizen offers a huge array of Star Wars themed watches, ranging in price from approximately three to $400, but they can often be found heavily discounted on Amazon. Returning back to Earth for watch number six, we have a Seiko that certainly meets the criteria of badass. Get your Hadoukens ready, because we're talking about the incredibly cool Seiko 5 Sports Street Fighter 5 series of limited edition watches. This set comes with six different designs representing a character from the popular fighting franchise. There's the unshakable fist of Ryu with a white band and distressed bezel, or the blue jade for Chun-Li with that beautiful blue dial and ornate insignia at the 12 o'clock. The Russian blaze, my personal favorite for Ken with its red nylon band and black dial. The indestructible fortress for Guile with its camouflage motif and dog tag indice at the nine o'clock. 
The call of the wild for Blanca with his distinctive green whirlpool dial, an electrically charged bezel, or the iron cyclone for Zangief with its loud red and yellow colorway, a bezel that represents the wrestler's belt, and a NATO strap modeled after his wristband. All six watches are limited to 9,999 pieces and can be found on eBay for approximately 300 bucks. Watch number five falls firmly into the novelty category, but it's so cool that it had to make the list. One of the greatest video game consoles of all time, in my opinion at least, is the Sega Dreamcast, and this watch would be the perfect piece to wear while kicking your friend's ass at Soul Calibur or zooming through the many action zones of Sonic Adventure. The watch is basically just a miniature Dreamcast in stainless steel with the quartz movement, but it's proven to be a popular collector's item, so expect to pay approximately 400 bucks on eBay to snag one of these retro beauties. Keeping with that Sega theme, watch number four is a watch that's near and dear to my heart. It's another Seiko, the Seiko X Sega 60th Anniversary Limited Edition Chronograph from Japan, a watch so incredibly badass that I had to buy it for my personal collection. I love absolutely anything Sega, so seeing that iconic logo on the dial never fails to bring a smile to my face. This watch comes in two variants, a black version that's limited to 400 pieces, and a silver variant that's limited to 800 pieces. I opted for the black one because it reminds me of the black outer shell of the Sega Genesis, my personal favorite gaming console ever made, and it's more limited compared to the silver version. I don't think you can go wrong with either, but expect to pay a hefty premium over the original MSRP. These will set you back anywhere from about $400 to $600 on eBay. All right, we're getting down to the nitty gritty, guys. Coming in at number three is the only watch worth wearing while raiding tombs and solving mind-numbing puzzles. It's the Tissot T-Touch, the watch worn by one Lara Croft in the movie Tomb Raider, The Cradle of Life. You can see Angelina Jolie sporting this Tissot throughout the movie. She's wearing a Gen 1 T-Touch with the green logo, probably model T33159851. It's an inspired choice for an adventurer, considering it's packed with useful features like a compass, barometer, altimeter, and even a thermometer, all of which can be activated with a simple touch, thus the T-Touch. Next time I fire up Tomb Raider on my PS1, I hope to have this watch on my wrist. Coming in at number two is the perfect watch to wear while exploring those capital wastelands, the Laco Radox Fallout Watch. Holy shit, I kind of wish I never saw this piece because now I want it. Handcrafted in Germany, high-grade Swiss movement, limited to only 143 pieces. This watch would pair with my Pip-Boy nicely while I take out hordes of super mutants and get totally addicted to chems. So many chems. But it's probably not going to happen because as of recording this video, there's only one available on eBay and it's being auctioned off with an opening bid of 2100 bucks. Better start saving those caps. This is it, guys. The last watch on the list. Coming in at number one. A watch worthy of one of the greatest JRPGs ever developed, Square Enix's masterpiece, Final Fantasy VII. During the lead-up to Final Fantasy VII's remake release date, Square and Japanese bespoke jewelry brand Keuno collaborated to create two watches, one representing the game's protagonist, Cloud, and the other one, the antagonist, Sephiroth. Both feature high-end spec sapphire crystals and Seiko automatic chronograph movements. These watches were extremely limited and released in three sets of 77 pieces and sold in Japan, Europe, and the United States. If you want to adorn your wrist with one of these stunning watches, start grinding for Gil because it's going to cost you five grand. All right, guys, that's my list of badass watches for gamers. Are there any that you think I missed? Let me know in the comments section below, and who knows, maybe I'll do a part two. I'm posting new videos every Friday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can count on that. It's like clockwork. Follow me with my watch collecting adventures over on Instagram, at Cuckoo for Watches. I'm live streaming on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday. Follow me over there for wrist checks and retro gaming, at COE33. And if you're enjoying the content, be sure to watch this video of me unboxing and giving my first impressions of a watch that made this list, the Seiko Sega Collaboration Chronograph. Thank you for watching, and until next time... Keep your watches wound and your sapphires polished.